Chris from Hockey Tutorial with Davy here and we're going to be showing you all the different kinds of pucks that you can use off the ice and which one's the best and why. So this is your standard ice hockey puck. You can see it slides on the um, ProSize shooting pad quite well. And now we're going to show you what it's like off the pad. You can see on the ground it's pretty much impossible to control, making it pretty much impossible to practice stick handling or shooting. Taking a look at the orange puck, the way this puck tries to give you an on-ice feeling while you're off the ice training is by reducing the weight of the puck, allowing it to slide on a variety of surfaces quite smoothly, as it's quite light. But again, we'll take the puck off the shooting pad and see how it performs. You can see that it's nowhere near as bad as the uh, standard traditional hockey puck, but again, it does flip up quite a bit, making it quite hard to stick handle. And it's also a very light puck, so it means that if you get used to using this puck, Now taking a look at the Reebok Street Puck, the way this puck works is that it has a number of half circles made of plastic going around the um, edges of the puck. And what that does is that it lifts the puck off the ground and by reducing the amount of puck that touches the ground you reduce the friction which allows the puck to slide a little bit better on hard surfaces than a standard puck would. Now taking a look at the puck off the shooting pad. Again, you can see the puck slides a little bit better than the standard conventional rubber hockey puck, but still flips up a lot, making it pretty much impossible to practice your stick handling. Now taking a look at the green biscuit puck. The way this puck is designed is two separate pieces or discs joined together by three bolts. These discs are allowed to move independently to each other which almost works like a hydraulic system or shock absorbers, absorbing any vibration and movement, which reduces the chance of the puck flipping over. It also has raised edges, which lift the puck off the ground, again, reducing the amount of puck that comes in contact with the ground, which reduces the friction of the puck. Now taking a look at how it works off the shooting pad and on the ground. You can see that the way the green biscuit is designed makes it very effective on a variety of surfaces, as you can practice a full range of stick handling with it without having to worry about the puck flipping over. Right. right.
today, me and uh, myself and Davey over here took a look at the pucks that you see in front of you over here. We started with the traditional ice hockey puck, which they use in the rinks. As we said, it's great if you're going to be using it on a pro pad, but if you're going to be using it on just any surface like the gravel of a car park that you can see that we're in right now, it flips up all the time, making it pretty much impossible to practice stick handling and shooting. Wouldn't recommend it because it just wears the base of your stick down. The stick blade will be worn down before you know it and you'll have to replace your stick real quick. So if you're going to be using that, I'd recommend getting a pro pad. Moving on from that puck, taking a look at the orange one, which is a lot, uh, a lot lighter than any of the other pucks you see here. And that's meant to be the key feature that allows it to slide on a range of surfaces quite well. But as you saw here today, it flips up quite a lot. It's definitely better than the uh, standard traditional puck for stick handling, but it does still flip up quite a lot. The next one is the Reebok puck over here. And these pucks over here employ these uh, plastic and rubber circles that you can see there, cutting around the edges of the puck over there, which lift the puck off the surface of the ground. So there's very little puck coming into contact with the actual ground because of these um, balls that you can see there which is supposed to reduce the friction and allow the puck to slide on a range of surfaces quite well. But as you saw over here, it pretty much flips up just as much as the, uh, the standard ice hockey puck, which is quite annoying. So this, again, would be um, definitely not worth getting if you want to practice your stick handling and actually you'll be able to utilize it properly. The last puck that we looked at is the uh, green biscuit puck over here. Uh, for a more detailed look at this, uh, visit hockeytutorial.com. But just briefly, it employs a uh, two separate discs as you can see they have a space between them joined together by these three bolts over there and what that acts like is um, it means that these two discs can uh, move independently to each other which almost acts like a hydraulic system or shock absorbers so as the puck slides on rough surfaces it's able to absorb any vibration preventing it or reducing the chances of the puck flipping up it also has raised edges along the sides and in the center there which reduces the amount of puck that comes into contact with the ground, which reduces the friction and allows it to slide on pretty much any surface very, very well. It works on the shooting pads and on this very rough um, car park surface that you can see that we're on. So I definitely recommend one of these over the pucks that we've used. So as we say, this is a test to see which is the best and the green biscuit definitely comes out on top. For more information, be sure to visit hockeytutorial.com.